Hi guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. We are back with another catamaran tour. Since you guys are loving those so much, we are going to show you Naughty Tech 46 Fly. <laughs> on Instagram, make sure you check it out. This is mine and this is Rico's. And if you are interested in learning more about liveaboard lifestyle, check us out on the Patreon. All right, let's go check out this catamaran. This is a 46 fly Naughty Tech uh, built by Bavaria, built in 2019. And it's got a lot of really cool features we would like to show you. Definitely. So it's a performance cruiser. You know, it's going to have some trade-offs and it's also going to have some really great features and it's supposed to do really well under sail. So. And if you guys look at this here, like you can't really see it at, at first. When you look a little closer, you see how it goes in, it steps in, the hole steps in. So at the waterline, the width of the pontoons are actually a lot narrower than the hole above the waterline. Where the performance part comes in. I'm gonna just do one from the front here so you can see it a little bit too. All right, come on board. I like the sugar scoops. Yeah, pretty, it's, pretty it's pretty cool to have that little step there. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes uh, catamaran builders feel like it's maybe not as sexy looking, but it's extremely convenient. You can just step on, it makes it super easy. You don't need to do this like weird maneuvers that you know sometimes you have to do and it's um, if you have a pretty high a tide and, and some areas, it's, it, it makes it pretty scary. Yeah, if you don't dangerous. have floating docks, I mean here it's kind of easy with the yeah. floating docks, but if you like in the Caribbean, whatever, where you don't have floating docks, I mean, this is just, you yeah. know, one step. Pretty nice. Safe. It's pretty spacious. It feels really wide and open. Like all the stairs and everything feels pretty nice and open. Come into the cockpit. Mm -hmm. Definitely a big cockpit is one of the features of the Naughty Tech. I know you guys, if you haven't seen the, uh, the tour of the smaller Naughty Tech on our channel, check it out right here. Look at this indirect lighting. I thought you'd like this. Yeah, it looks really nice. I see also see a track mounted already here. So you can enclose it or close it up if you have some bad weather or it's just cold in the winter like to keep it warm. Today. Like right now. <laughs> yep. So we have a pretty spacious sitting area for a lot of people. You can put some chairs around here. This is a, for sure good for eight, you know, to have dinner. Easy, yeah. Same here. I see like that there's a storage here. Oh, it's massive. Oh yeah. This is pretty much like a lazarette down there. Yep. And then there's some stuff here as well oh yeah that's where they're keeping life jackets and life rings and stuff so that's good yeah good Same storage here. for it mm -hmm. great what Agreed. do you think of the david system it looks like a very stable like solid david system i really like it you get a winch mounted there where you can assist pulling the dinghy out of the water and you don't have to have all that muscle power to pull it up no it looks it looks really good so even a little center console achilles on here on the back that's great both sides of the cockpit have a huge water drain so if you take a lot of water over the back over the aft like have big following seas you can be safe and sure that the water is draining back out mm -hmm. um, as well at the door threshold another big drain right there yep and then looks like it's artificial teak huh on this yeah one but here. it looks very nice it's i like it with the white caulking mm -hmm. that looks very classy should we go forward yes let's go All forward right. let's come forward very wide feels very safe oh you get like the integrated rub rails where you kind of mm -hmm. hold on to and in instead of having mounted rub rails yeah, and you could probably get them um, done to be able to collect rainwater as well. Yeah, it seems like it.
Nice and large foredeck, big trampolines. Yeah, the trampolines are really good size. And if you're into the trampolines on the catamaran, these are nice, really nice. I feel like they would be very comfortable. And I like how they are flush underneath, so they're not, you know, you don't have this kind of a yeah, dangerous. The hardware is covered up mm -hmm. um, and you don't have a gap at all. Like yeah. it literally goes all trampoline. Yeah, exactly. So you can have cushions right here where I'm standing to yep. sit around and uh, yeah, I have the little, like little cocktail table here with drainable, I guess kind of like a cooler mm -hmm. and on that side same thing yeah nice little ice box all right you want to explore some hatches here let's get our windlass right here this is a really long run above deck i don't know exactly how that is but it's probably more than 10 feet it gives you a good space to count chain when you when you anchor if you don't have a chain counter mm -hmm. and then i would assume our anchor locker is either on this side or the other the uh -huh. other <laughs> the other Oh, we get some extra, we get some tow line here for a dinghy and just some spare parts. Good locker. So then on this side. Uh -huh. There we go. Yeah. There's your chain locker. Um, I, I really like the way they did this actually. On some of the other catamaran builders, a lot of times you have the water tanks exposed and it's just somewhere tucked on the side or whatever. Here they're actually below that floorboard and it gives you all the storage capacity and the water tank is nicely secured, put away, uh, so you can load stuff on top. And then there is your anchor locker, still chain locker, where you um, have an easy access to if you ever had to get in there, or to spray it off and clean it off um, after anchoring with fresh water. So they also have two steps to come up to the top if you need to get to the mast. Of course, we have a little bit of a higher boom on this one since it has a flybridge uh, with the um, mast furling mainsail. And here a self-tacker for the self-tacking jib, right there. As well as the bow spread for the Janiker, which is not up right now, but all the hardware is there. The halyard is right there and everything is ready to go. So this boat, I'd like to take it sailing. I think we could. We just got to talk to Trent. Yeah. <laughs> what is in the bow lockers? Oh, there's more. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. What's there? All right, here's... Oh, wow, they're deep. There is the Jennica laying and waiting to be used. That is a big bow locker. And another thing I noticed on the Nautitex, all the fiberglass is coated with bilge coat. So some of the other production boat builders, not naming any names, are saving on that. So this is nicely finished and painted. Some of the other boat builders, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that. And um, we believe that that's a small thing that needs to be done. I mean, your bilge areas and your, your, your exposed resin and fiberglass needs to be finished and needs to be painted. This, I agree, because I mean, then you're just putting stuff in there and you're just like itching the whole time and scratching and it's not good. Should right. we go up to the flybridge since there is one? Whee! Let's do it. Okay. So access to the flybridge is on one side and it's on this on this boat is on the port side. So we can come around this way, Riku can go that way and I will come this way. Really comfortable staircase. Very comfortable. Really safe. Yeah. Oh, nice um, canvas work. I agree. I'm assuming it's factory and it's very nicely done. I like the bimini. Yeah, for sure. very good. Looks like a quality work. As well, you have a light in here. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's going to look really nice at night. Well, let's turn that on. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's going to be nice in the evening. So you have a good size fly bridge uh, for this size of a, of a catamaran, especially for a performance cruiser. It's really nice to have a fly bridge like this. I see that there is like a little drink oh, yeah. fridge here. You obviously could put, um, you know, like a full table here and actually have dinner. Lounge sitting, mm -hmm. you'd still have a pretty nice dinner here and have a table that's like high or low. It'd be pretty nice. I'm just looking, there. I see a little bit of an edge here, right? Mm -hmm. um, goes all yeah. the way to where you sit over there. I think um, you're right. I'm just wondering <laughs> if there's a piece which could get dropped in here and make it like a, a sun pad or nap pad. I think you're onto something. I'm pretty sure that's exists here. It would be a really good nap spot. Another cool feature, you're gonna like this. Oh yes! This, oh, you have the lock on your side oh, there? Oh yes! 
Oh, we got locks on both sides. Oh eh? yeah, it's locked. Uh, it's locked, but it is okay. a, what's the thing called? Pivotable back. <laughs> it is a convertible back. <laughs> yeah. So you could switch it this way or that way. So when you're hanging out right here, you can just sit with your guests. And when you're underway, you can sit this way. Pretty nice. Like it. Mm -hmm. Right, reversible, back. Reversible, back. reversible back. Reversible back. Reversible back. Let's look at this here. Of course, these can be closed. They're open right now. It gives you visibility to your sail. You can see your wind vane up on top. See what's going on with the wind. And everything is led right forward here to the helm station. Really conveniently located. All your clutches are there. Your winches are here. Fantastic visibility forward as well as aft. I mean, even here peeking over the side. I can see the aft corner of both sides. Sailing it single-handedly is... Pretty good, huh? I think so. Everything is right here. Yeah, would be an easy thing to do. Got our helm wheel right here, which is um, slightly smaller than I think what we see on other catamarans. This boat is outfitted with BNG electronics, a multifunction display right here, a large chart plotter in the center, and then our autopilot to the right of it. Have our electronic engine throttle controls right here. This boat is outfitted with Volvo Panthers. Uh, we have our RPM gauges right there. And that's it already. Of course, compass forward of the helm. Our subscribers from Canada are going to laugh at us. Why? Because we're in California freezing. My nose is even running. Oh my God. I mean, like, what is wrong with you people? Spoiled right, Californians. Right, let's go inside. I think we inside. should go check out the interior. It is a nice flybridge. And uh, next time we're here and it's a nice day, we'll spend more time up here. How about that? That being said, compare that to the competition of um, the catamarans mm -hmm. um, or the catamaran shipyards. For a 46-foot boat, this is a large flybridge. It's a good flybridge for sure. It's a, a, a real flybridge. Let's Correct. put it that way. It's not Correct. just like a bench. It's a real flybridge. Interior! Let's do it! All right, come in the interior. So it's a, a kind of a smaller salon area and it's laid out in a lounge way so that your real dining space is outside and that's mm -hmm. why you have that whole enclosure you can close it up and have like an extension of your salon so this all nice and open what's this two sliding doors are really great as you could see you know you can open them up completely and have this really cool open space enclosure right there cool big space here all right as soon as we come in on the port side we have some drawer fridges freezer and a fridge kind of like a chart table chart right? table yeah not really a um, you know an interior helm but a chart table area here and then repeaters of uh, the chart plotter autopilot and the multifunction display as well as a generator control panel where you can start it and stop the generator these are cute little sitting spots and you can also take them outside oh yeah that's great so kind of cool and over here there's some spaces underneath here mm -hmm. as well you have storage and this little space as well and then we come to the galley a one person galley not a massive space but great to work in somebody else can help on the side right here trash and then all of these are kind of a big sliding oh, they're nice. drawers you have a drawer right here as well Everything is nice and quiet. Right. Yeah, these closures are simple, but I really like them because they're really Cabinet quiet. Cabinetry looks nice. Yeah. Nice woodwork here. Well, they're veneers, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Drawer here as well. And then you have a little bit of a space here too. Got an oven. It's gas cooktop with three burners. Also have good size sink. And a little smaller one as well. And it looks like another top loader, right? Yeah. Freezer. Oh, nice. Right? Uh, fridge or freezer, either one of them. Feels like it could be both. It's really cold. Pretty cool. And then you also have your forward hatches, which is great for cross breeze. And right there on top, check out this hatch here. That's a great little addition. And that's uh, going to the flybridge. Oh, yeah, that's right. So actually, if Rico is up there and he's like, hey, can I have a coffee? And I'm right here. I can just be like, here's your coffee. And I can just literally hand it to him. Like kind of cool. Yeah, it's like a little dumb waiter, actually. Definitely lo lots of hatches to create some cross breeze. We have here the overhead skylights with a um, hatch as well. This is a three cabin layout. It's an owner's version. So we're going to go first on the starboard side. Go into the aft cabin. The lighting in this boat is very, very nice. It's pretty bright, but mm -hmm. it's also indirect. It's 
nicely done. I really like it. So you have some storage spaces here next to the bed. Look how deep they are. Yeah. Kind of a simple way of doing that. And then you also have this deeper cavity right there. There's a drawer right oh, here. Deep drawer, yeah. Yeah, very good size. And also, also, what's with the also? Right here we have hanging locker mm -hmm. and a couple more spaces here as well. Pretty good. Yeah, very good actually. Especially for guest cabin. Yeah, for guest cabin it's great and it's got an ensuite. Well, I think you have to, oh, mm. there we go. Oh, yeah, that works. Makes it better. Yeah, and this one is um, shared shower. So you have, you know, two pretty much equal heads. The only difference that I see is the aft one has an electric, um, you have to come in, I think, and close okay. it to see the storage behind it. It's got an electric head. Mm -hmm. And on this side and forward, we have a manual head. Oh yeah. So that's the only difference. And then here is, wow, this is great. More than I'm, used to on most of the catamarans. That's yep. pretty cool. Agreed. Yeah, and you have that and you have, oh, this is just for toilet paper, so nothing really massive here. And back where Rika was, so the shower is shared and you have these doors here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you're using it as a gas thing, it's a pretty, pretty cool resolution. All right, let's go forward. Again, like you said, really cool lighting. Yeah, so we also have an ice maker right here. Mm -hmm. And then keep going forward. So this bed is a bit, definitely a bit smaller than the aft cabin, but you also have tons of storage. You have that cavity right there. You have two of these. Great natural light. Yeah, good size um, windows as well. Like really nice and bright. And there's a fan in each cabin as well. Mm -hmm. And then we have the overhead hatch. Check out this one. Pretty Ooh. great. Big. Very, very oh, big. there's another one here. Yeah. Pretty impressed actually. Good hanging locker. Yeah, very good. And then there, um, there's a drawer down there as well. Fantastic. And your entrance to your ensuite. Yeah. Master, master cabin. So owner's version, the whole port side is an owner's cabin. On the way to the owner's cabin, we have our Switches all mounted here, including our battery switches and tank monitors, as well as the battery monitor. Come in. Oh. So we have this private door here to close it off. Kind of a cool little mm -hmm. feature design, looks really nice. Behind it, there's a ton it, it, of storage. Wanna, okay. Oh, that's not storage. No, these are high voltage breakers. Yep. But this here is all storage right here. Look at that. Just yeah. keeps going. Loads of storage. Impressive. Yeah. I guess behind you that is as well. Yeah. Wow. I like this closures. They're just really. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. Can fit in here. And all the drawers, which I'm not gonna open, you guys. All of those here. And then if we switch spots, you have a, a working desk, makeup station. However you wanna use that. Also more drawers. Pretty cool. You could probably put a little cushion, cushion on top there, of huh? this as well. Yeah, I, could, I don't see why not. All of this too. I mean, this is crazy. Pretty brilliant, Naughty Tech. Impressed. See something else down uh -huh. there? That's all control for the water maker right there. I can definitely see um, a couple cruising on this boat. It's uh, a lot of a lot of space. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's very very good. Then you got a drawer right there as well. Good size bed nice natural light behind those pillows it's a hatch so oh, great pretty for cool yeah you can open that up hatch right there you have your bathroom hatches you're gonna have a really good cross breeze here another one here love it very good and then we're coming into the owner's own suite very good i it just feels look how wide it is you guys i gotta say i'm a bit impressed for like a performance cruiser this feels very comfortable mm -hmm. So let's see here. Oh my God, it's great. Really great. These closures are great. Lots of mirrors too. Look at this. Wow. All of these open. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Really good job, Naughty Tech. Yep, and the shower is a good location for it. Great size. They did a great job designing it. Really like it. Oh, look at this here. Jeez. More storage. 
Wow. And an electric hat. Yeah, I'm wondering if there is a spot somewhere for for a washer and dryer. There must be a way. There's so much storage cavities. There must be a way yeah, to put it somewhere. Yeah, maybe one of these ones, yeah. Yeah, somewhere, right? All right, engine room. By the way, here's your transom shower. Okay. Engine room. Got our engine room right here on the starboard side. Volvo Penter main engines and a Cummins generator, which is probably a 12 kW, looks like it. Pretty decent access though. The other side, the port side, doesn't have the generator, of course. So a little bit easier accessibility to the Volvo engines. You guys this completes our tour of Naditex 46 fly i hope you guys enjoyed it we'll see you on the next one please make sure to like subscribe comment and all those good things and enjoy the outtakes and our battery's dying because rika forgot to charge it properly so it's totally gonna die on us right now that's why we're rushing so much okay ready just walk with me. Oh, okay. Hi guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. We are back with another tour of a catamaran. We are back with another catamaran tour. We are back with another... Blah, 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 blah. One more time. Okay, cool. cool. So now we go into the thing and now we start... Uh, okay. Oh, right. I have a good energy about this. <laughs> Maybe because I'm cold? <laughs> Maybe. All right, ready? It is so cold. <laughs> <laughs> Got our helm V heel, which is kind of on the smaller side, which I really like. V heel, what? Helm wheel? V heel heel? It's cold, I, I can't talk. V heel? I know, I'm like goosebumps. It's so cool. Things you cannot remove. <laughs> oh my god. Really? I'm gonna break my nail. This one is open, but the other side. Oh, really, BNG? It's freaking painful. Okay, Anyways, um, this. All right. Two percent. Two percent. Don't touch it. <laughs>